off the in between. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Uh, and you can follow us on Instagram and for more. That was creepy. It's so cute. on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Today we're reacting to a new teaser that dropped. It's from the movie Psycho. It's a Tamil. Look at you! Come on, everybody! Every single time I need, I'm like, okay, it's not Tamale. Yeah, not but Tamale. I think that's the first time you've gone straight to Tamale, um, not Tamale, ta tamale or whatever uh, you call it. But it's a new trailer, uh, so we will see how this is. I have no idea what. The only psycho I know is Alfred Hitchcock. Yep. Which is a legendary. You've never seen it. Yeah, it's a legendary film. I think I have it down here. Yeah, if uh, you haven't seen Psycho, it's just a legendary film. Master of, of a little unknown director named uh, yeah. Alfred Hitch Al uh, why am I <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the only thing the only second. Yeah, I have so no I'm guessing idea what it, this I'm, is. That'd be really weird if they're trying to remake it. it would so be. I'm guessing it's not that. I'm guessing it's not that either. <laughs> I don't think there's a I don't think you can remake Alfred Hitch Alfred Hitchcock's films. No, you right? know there's it's only one, one way. There's only one way you can, and it was done by Mel Brooks. The what? movie High Anxiety oh. is nothing but parodies of Hitchcock films. Although, I, I say all this, but I actually would love to see a remake of The Birds, because... You hate birds. No. <laughs> That's obviously a really good film, but it's like... <laughs> It's so bad in terms I know. of the CGI. I know. Like it's not scary anymore because no. I mean it's scary enough. You know, like I get why people were scared back in the day. It was right. revolutionary and all that kind of stuff. But it's like these little birds no, on short wires. That's why, they had to, that's why they had to redo movies. Like when the movie Frankenstein came out, mm -hmm. the original with with uh, Lon Chaney, it was a Boris. No, it was Boris Karloff. People were terrified. Mm -hmm. Like. Terrified of that, and you look at it today, you're like, okay, yeah. Same thing. It's like I, I, I don't want to remake Jaws. No, I'm not saying that. But still, when you watch Jaws, yeah, it's like it's like it's a plastic plastic shark. robot <laughs> shark. But that's one of the genius things of that film is they don't show it for the most of the thing. Exactly. That's why it's anyway. Yes. Anyway, we're off topic here. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Like, did you notice that one shot of whatever that bloody thing was? There was oh, a that was girl. A dead body. There was a girl squatting in the corner with hair covering her face, just in a fetal position. Oh, I didn't corner. notice that. You didn't notice that? No. That was fantastic. I, usually teasers don't do really well. That was a great teaser. Yeah. Wow. So I'm guessing it's just about this psycho. It could actually be, based on what we were saying, it could be a complete re-envisioning of Hitchcock's Psycho. It could be, if you've not seen Hitchcock's Psycho, I'm about to spoil it, so pause it for a second and I'll come back and wave. It could be taking the Norman Bates character and taking him out of the whole hotel scenario yeah. and just making him be somebody who's got the same problem as a psychopathic person, uh, but completely retelling it. 
and, and in some way incorporating another family member or a mother figure who's like younger or maybe it's his, I don't, I'm totally interested. Okay, you can come back. Uh, totally interested in this. The music. Ah, that music, if that is, if that's what we're gonna get in the film, that music it, it was, was definitely a great. It was it was reminiscent of um, old school psychological thriller film. Yes, you know what it reminded me of instantly: the first visual and the score, especially the score. Uh -huh. I would not be surprised if the 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 score and a lot of the thought behind this. It reminded me a lot of The Shining. Yeah, and the way Kubrick used the score in that with the dissonant strings. And made you from the moment that movie starts, you know something's not gonna, something's off. Yeah. Uh, and then when they're driving, that long, far shot when they're driving to the the lodge, and the music is playing, it just gives you this foreboding creepiness. This was great. Is this a synopsis? I went uh, to Wikipedia. Psycho is an upcoming Indian Tamil language psychological thriller film directed by Miskin. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing your name. The film's music, again, I'll mispronounce this, is composed by Lagiraja, and the cinematography was handled by debutante Tanvir Mir. It's just, this is, this is just credits, there's no synopsis. It's giving us the rest of the people who are involved, uh, the actors, production, when production started, the release, the soundtrack of the film is composed by, there's no synopsis of story. Okay. So anyway, totally 100% wanna see this. It was a 2013 film, and it was Telugu. Telugu. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, called Psycho. Called Psycho. Another one in Canada called Psycho in 19, in, in 2008. 2008. So, um, are, are any of those remakes of Alfred Hitchcock's, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho? Psycho, or are these remakes of the other ones? Or, like, because I, I don't know. That was one of the best teasers we've seen. That's one of my favorite teasers. Because teasers usually are just like, okay, that's cool. Great, you gave us a little synopsis of what's going on there. Syrah was a pretty good teaser. Yeah, very good yeah, teaser. That had a yeah, that, that's what I mean, though. I, I can count maybe two or three out of, off the top War of my head. War had a really good teaser, too. Though. War had a very good teaser. And that was really easy to, like, oh, that was easy to do. Good tiger action was everywhere. Really easy to do, as was, even though it didn't, uh, Mission Mongol had a great teaser. Yeah. Yeah, Remember, yeah. we were very impressed with the teaser, but then we the trailer kind of threw us. It was like it went from feeling like Apollo thirteen to suddenly it was a rom com. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. man, I want to I want to see this. Based if this didn't have a trailer, I would want to see this just on the teaser. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. The kind of characters I love, obviously, like it's it's funny. I, I've talked to an Indian lady um, who's from India. Uh, she's Indian. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. That I, makes a lot of sense. I talked to an American person who's from America. From America. Uh, <laughs> let me guess. They were American? Yes. How does he do it? <laughs> but, um, I, you know, I told her I was, I'm an actor and she's like, oh, you, you like the play? Uh, I was like, yeah. And she's like, who's your favorite actor? I was like, Nawaz. I like him a lot. You know, and she's like, oh, you like the negative roles. <laughs> I guess. I, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and she's like, would you like to play negative or do you want to play a hero? I was like, mm, no. She's like, you want to play negative roles? Really? And it's like a foreign concept that anybody would ever want to play negative yeah, role. No, Corbin Miles would like his entire acting career to be nothing but the antagonist. I, it would seem, it would feel, I mean, I'm an actor. I would play anything. Of course. One, especially at this point where, you know, you know, you have no, you have to get cast in some series where you play the stay at home dad for 10 years. I would do it, and I would do it for now. I know you would. <laughs> but anyway, you were saying, yeah. Uh, the, so the, these types of roles just, uh, uh, they're a lot more interesting to me than yeah. just the normal hero mm -hmm. uh, type roles, which was a lot of the, the lead roles in Indian films. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a Tamil film. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Corbin. I keep yep. kidding. No, I want to say Tamal. It's Tamil. Uh, because so like that's uh the the industry i feel is a lot more raw honestly than the hindi uh the industry doesn't yeah feel like, like it, it feels, feels like from sure Bina, you have yeah uh, maori you have a like, gangster negative type roles or well 
I'll, t I'll tell you what we've experienced, and this is our subjective experience. We're not saying this is a carte blanche blanket statement for the industries. Uh, because the Hindi film industry has become a marketing strategy with the Bollywood insignia, they would be more likely to be producing the films that would be just the star vehicles and don't have the artistic uh, risk taking that's aff affiliated more with like the film circuit kind of films. Whereas Tamil and Canada and Malayalam and Telugu and all of the other ones that we've mentioned that are outside of the Hindi one, they seem to be the ones that when we see trailers and we get recommendations, for the most part, they're, they seem to be the, the film festival circuit, award winning, art house, kinds of films. It's funny that each each industry is uh, obviously very passionate, as we know, about their industry. Yes. Um, but it's it's funny, a lot of the times they say, um, if you, they often say, this is like a statement, if you want to see actual art in Oscar-worthy films, yes. watch Fill yes. in the Blank. And, and to all of my <laughs> beautiful Bengali brothers and sisters out there, it's coming. Please know you're not being ignored. We know how much you love the artistry of the cinema that comes from your industry and that you too are going to be, we're getting to everybody, I promise you. And every other industry in the world. Exactly, we're getting, well, in India, yeah. well, that's, you know, oh, yeah. we're not gonna India. get the rest of the world, no, but no. And I, I've been, you, I don't know if you're gonna include this, I've been getting so many messages once people found out about Indrani, been like, you better start doing Bengali stuff now, buddy. No excuses now, you better be doing Bengali stuff now. I'm not doing it just for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding.